Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Some of you guys have said that my videos haven't been very frugal lately, so today's video is for you. But first, I'd like you to meet my cats. Last November, we adopted two cats from the animal shelter, Frida and Tally. They have added so much joy to our family, and we want to make sure they stay as frisky and as playful as they are right now. So we feed them healthy food and play with them to make sure they get plenty of exercise. Another thing we do to keep our cats healthy is to routinely brush them so they don't get hairballs, which are stressful for the cat and can cause serious health problems. National Hairball Awareness Day is this month, and regularly brushing your cat with a de-shedding tool such as the Furminator will not only help your cat avoid eating its own hair when it grooms and getting hairballs, I know, gross, right? But it means that your cat will shed less so you will spend less time vacuuming and can spend more time crafting. And since you know how I hate to waste anything... For this DIY, you're gonna need a bamboo barbecue skewer, you're going to need a piece of black cardstock, just a scrap, you don't need much. Something to mark on it, such as a piece of chalk or crayon. And of course, you're going to need cat hair and a little hot glue to hold it all together. So the first thing you want to do is fold your scrap of black cardstock in half. And then just draw on kind of half of a mustache shape. You don't have to be too specific because the cat hair is going to um, obscure some of the details. Then simply cut it out. Now I'm using um, hair from my tiger cat and from my black cat and you know if you have several pets it's a great way to get them all involved. I'm going to apply some hot glue to one half of the mustache first. I wouldn't go all the way to the edge because it might squish off and get glued to your table. And then you simply just want to lay the hair into the glue. You can trim it later. And then repeat on the other side. And don't be stingy with the cat hair. After your glue has cooled, pull off any loose cat hair. Then I like to flip it over so I can see the cardstock outline and give her a trim. Then just glue the stick onto the mustache. I like to glue down the pointy end so nobody pokes themselves when they use it. After it's cool, it'll be ready to use. And you can even whip up some custom eyebrows too with your leftover cat hair. Whoop, I lost my eyebrow. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this silly DIY. Please visit Furminator.com, there's a link in the video description, for all of your de-shedding needs. Happy Hairball Awareness Day, and as always, happy crafting!